Hey, what's up, everybody? So people like my last video when I was showing the pricing of what games went up, what games were down. So I thought I'd just do another video showing some of the games and how the pricing is going right now for some games. So on over the back, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite fighting games, Marvel's Capcom 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. As you can see right now, according to this, it's around 192 193 But actually on eBay, it's actually selling for a lot more. On eBay right now, for the Dreamcast, you don't expect to pay at least $200. Um, I know you see right here where it says eighty five dollars one on one. Those are bids, and those bids are definitely going to go higher. You can try your luck with those bids, but there's definitely going to go a little bit higher. So for right now, it's probably a great time to try to get this game because this game is definitely shooting up in price. The Dreamcast version is definitely getting up. Next game up is Pokemon Fire Red. Now you have to be kind of careful with these Pokemon Fire Reds and all Pokemon games in general. There's a lot of fakes out there. A lot of people make copies and try to pass it on as the real authentic copy. We have to be careful. As well, the pricing for these games, especially Pokemon Fire Red, is all over the place. Like I see, you see it right here for 120 loose. I've seen it for like freaking 200, 250, like. Right now, Pokemon Fire Red or on any of the Pokemon games right now, at least the ones for the Game Boy Advance, are getting kind of high or, or, or is kind of high. So if you are a Pokemon fan, I always suggest this. If you're going to get a Pokemon game, make sure it's from an incredible source. Make sure you can verify that it's real, number one. And just overall, just make sure you're getting a clean, a correct copy because there's so many copies and repros and stuff like that. Like, just be careful out there. But be prepared to pay some money because this game is pricing right now it's freaking crazy since i'm at it i thought they'll go to some of the other games right here Metal Gear solid twin stakes right now for the dreamcast is around 80 dollars, which is actually kind of down from before it was almost like 100 and some change but it's only for the box i think complete in complete you know complete in box with the manual you just gotta be careful with this Metal Gear solid for the dream for that from dreamcast for the gamecube because they do suffer from disc rot and they rot very fast so just be careful Steel Battalion, just for the game, is actually up there in price, actually. I remember the games would be dirt cheap because you can't play the game without the controller. Now the game alone is $75, and the controller is almost $300 and something by itself. So this is actually priced out for a lot of people. If you have it, great. If you don't, unless you spend this place close to $500 for the game and the controller, uh, the game is good, but it's not $500 good. Down below, you see I have the Warriors. War is around $74. It's hovering around $74. It didn't go up that much. It's pretty decent. The game is good, so I don't see the game going up that much. Parasite Eve, the first one, it's around $70, $60. You probably can get a little cheaper, all depending on where you go and where you look. Above me, Spider-Man Edge of Time. So this price, I feel like it's going down. I don't think it's the correct price. I do see this game for around $60 to $70. The game definitely dropped in price. I don't know why it dropped in price, but it's definitely getting a little bit lower. So this is a good time to try to buy that game. Right next to it is Dark Savior. It's a Sega Saturn game. As we all know, all Sega Saturn games are expensive. So if you're a big fan, this is a great game. I bought this game when it first came, when I first came out. But I had this game when I first got my Sega Saturn. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. Now it's almost double that. So you might want to get this game if you're a Sega Saturn fan. As we keep going real quick, I already talked about Def Jam. I'm talking about reference Capcom. The way to the right, Samurai Western, that game's around 160, 170. You're going to spend like around 160, 170. It's a great game, and it's made by Atlas. We all know all Atlas games are expensive. Below it, I see you have, right now I have Trials, uh, Trials from Zero. That's the limited edition, the collector's edition. So that one's going to be kind of high, especially new 150, but it is dropping. Before when I think first came out, it used to be around close to $200. So that one is dropping if you're interested in the collector's edition. Pokemon Coliseum, just like I said, all Pokemon games right now, the pricing is crazy. So if you're a Pokemon fan, make sure you get it from a replica source and just hold out a little bit until these pricings try to bounce out. Right now, all Pokemon games are crazy. Pokemon Coliseum is probably one of the few ones that are actually kind of balanced. So I would suggest you more for that. But all the cartridge-based Pokemon games are just ridiculous in price. And going down... Uh, Zelda um, Wind Waker is actually still hovering around 60 bucks. That's usually was normal price. It actually was up higher last year, but I see it drop down. This is only in box, but still 60 bucks for the box and for the for the um, box in case with no manual was still a pretty good price. Ghost Hunter, I thought this game would be much higher actually. It's only 60 bucks, 50 bucks. Ghost Hunter is a great game, and it's one of those rare games that a lot of people don't know about. I actually thought that game would be higher than that, but you know what? I'm glad to stay in there. And 
Dreamcast games are also creeping up in price, but it seems like they're kind of balancing out because they're not as high as I thought it would be. Grandia 2 is around $60, which is about a good price for it, complete. And then you got records of Lobos War. It's actually not bad, $60 as well. So the pricing for the Dreamcast ain't really so far being affected. But like, some Sega Saturn games are definitely, some of the PS2 games are definitely creeping up price. And PS3 and PS3 games are definitely creeping up in price. And Xbox 360 games are going to start creeping up in price. Another little spill of pricing. I'm just going to try to keep track of some of the pricing and periodically post a video update pricing as I see it. I don't know, maybe I'll help some of y'all out who's trying to find some of these games and get an idea what pricing is so you don't get ripped off. Anyway, if you like this, just let me know. As I said, I'm trying to do different type of videos. Anyway, later.